What's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted. Today we're standing in our Addicted shop. If you guys haven't had an opportunity to see it, this is our warehouse where we ship all of our merch, all the cool fishing gear. We really, really appreciate all the support from you addicts out there that get on our website and buy stuff. It means the world to us. And I thought I'd take an opportunity to show you guys the summer drop. You never have an opportunity to actually see the apparel in the flesh. So I'm gonna take a quick opportunity and show you guys that. And I'm gonna start with something that's limited edition, brand new, you didn't even get to see this in the summer drop. We had the Chrome Scales hoodie and it sold out really, really quick. Like as soon as the drop went live, this hoodie was sold out instantly. So we thought, man, we better do something for the people that weren't able to get it. So we made another one. This one is very, very similar. The only difference is we put a black logo on the front, green hook, these are 100% polyester, really, really nice sweatshirts. The Chrome Scales hoodie, these are dope. And again, they're limited edition, not very many of them. So you better get them before they're gone. Also, we got some ladies apparel this year. We did the Stars tank. It's got Addicted on the front, ADX on the back. Pretty sick, my wife helped me design those. So we got some ladies stuff. We also did a ladies jacket, windbreaker. It's got Addicted here on the front, ADX on the sleeve. Really, really nice color, super high quality for you lady addicts out there. And then we got the muscle shirt here, 100% polyester, really, really lightweight, perfect for out on those sunny, hot days, super dope. And then we did some other just regular tank tops, gray and black with the addicted on the front, ADX on the back. We did another tank top, black, green hook, ADX on the back, super, super nice. Another thing that we did addicts this year was sun shirts. So you guys are always asking for sun shirts, asking for stuff that can protect you out there when you're out in the weather. These are UPF protection, 100% polyester, really nice. They have addicted on the front. We also did no river names down the sleeve, which turned out pretty cool. So that was the black one that I showed you. There's the red one. I'm really excited about these. As you guys know, Buoy 10, one of our most favorite fisheries, we did these shirts right here. This one's kind of like a midnight Heather Navy. It's got addicted, small, kind of low key on the front, buoy 1021 on the back, pretty sick. And then, as you guys know, oh, this is the shirt I'm wearing right here. We got the catch it, cut it, eat it. You guys know we love to catch and cook. All you addicts out there love to eat your catches. So we thought we better make a shirt. It's got addicted on the back, it turned out pretty cool. We got, oh, well, this one's one of my favorites, guys. The flag hook, ADX and the flag on the back. We also did EST 2009 on the sleeve. So if you guys didn't know, Addicted Fishing was established in 2009. That's when we started this brand. This one's pretty cool. This one we did just kind of Addicted Fishing clean on the front. It's got the green hook. It's got the Addicted logo on the back. Turned out pretty good. Those have been selling like crazy. And then we did the kind of like the Buoy 10 murdered out version here. It's on like a charcoal shirt. Addicted in black on the front. Buoy 10 2021 on the back, baby. We did some board shorts. Kind of swim trunks, wearing the boat, wear swimming out with the fam. We got ADX here on the front. And then we also got Addicted down the back. These are a black camo. They turned out really, really good. And you guys always know we do the limited edition bait towels, buoy 10, 2021. We did these a little bit bigger this time. I like a little bit bigger of a bait towel on my boat or on my backpack. So turned out really, really good. We also did some more custom worms. We got blue, we got translucent white, we got translucent orange, we got translucent red haze. These are almost sold out. You guys have almost bought all these. So if you haven't had an opportunity to get these, you better grab them because there's not gonna be any left after this drop, limited edition. As you guys know, everything we do with these drops, we make it one time and then we usually never make it again. So if you guys liked any of that stuff, make sure you get on the website, buy it. We can't say enough of how much we appreciate every single one of you guys out there. We got Colt working for us now. He's working here a lot, almost all the time. And we got Mike working full time for us down here. And uh, it's been crazy. It's been really awesome to get all the support from you addicts. And we just, again, can't say enough. We appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you keep supporting us, we're gonna keep making badass content. And speaking of that, we got a really, really cool episode coming up. It's opening day, Buoy 10 in Astoria. Some hardcore, epic salmon fishing. It's coming up next. We'll see you on the river. 
Welcome back everybody to the Super Bowl. We're out here in the big river. It's that time of year and it is a hot bite. And what do we have? Is this one gonna be a keeper, boys? He's fighting like it. Dude, I don't know, man. Get those things down there on the bottom. Those are fish, for sure. I'm telling you, that, that's that's fish. They're right on the bottom, Josh. Like, you're probably gonna want to put the bow, I guess, at like 35. <laughs> Does that not look like a school fish? He said, Washington side above the bridge. He said, everyone's on. He said, get here now. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I got whack. Little tail slapper. Uh huh. Check bite. Check bite. It is getting a little shallower. 31. Look at all them rods just bouncing. Bouncing. Oh, there! Oh, there he is! He's on there. Get double! Yeah, we had a double. That second bite was vicious too. I know. I cannot believe it fell off. Oh my god, that's a really good one. It's a wild. Get down. It's a nice baby. Ready? Little blue bow. He's right here, Josh. Get, oh my god. Oh my. That's a stun. Slabber. Woo! <laughs> Hell yes, brothers! Why's it gotta be wild? Oh, son of a, come on. Come, I didn't touch it. It did it as I was dropping it. Look at there's a giant sport right here. Oh, you got one here. Oh, come on, he literally had it. There he goes. Oh, come on. I kept thinking it was bottom, but I don't think it is. There's fish in one of these rods. There's fish in one of these rods. One of those rods. Look at him. I mean, he was like all in it, dude. Why is it here so rod? He's gone. Build up yeah. and check it. Here you go. He's there. Yeah, I gotta go. Nope. Game off. Okay, Jordan, you're not allowed to touch that. Fish on it. Fish on it. That's you, Jordan. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's still there. oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's right up by the surface. He is hauling ass still. What do we have? Is this one gonna be a keeper, boys? I uh, think he's hatched. He's fighting like it. Don't, don't take him out. It's like a springer. It is a hatchery, but he's real toolyish, guys. Bring him aboard. Little. See this? Look, they'll have. He has no. No, that's a pure good. All right. Bonker me. First dead one of the season, everybody. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya! There it is, everybody. First fish of the year. Woo! Thank the creator for that one. Big 
giant. Oh, 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 I think it's rowdy. <laughs> Woo. Son of a gun. That was hard to wrestle him there, dude. You almost pushed me over. Nice fish. So what we have here, guys, this is the different species of Chinook salmon. It's uh, native to the lower river here. Gosh, in the lower, go ahead and get them all back this in. lower Columbia system. They are hooking fish all around us, everybody. Lab action. But we don't keep these things. These are protected in a way. The meat's not as good. But they're big, they're stinky, and they're fun to fight. So we got them. Look at this, guys. Look at this fish. He's got sea lice all over him. And he's, al fatty. he's already just brown. <laughs> Little, what do you think? Give him a kiss. He's like, no <laughs> way! <laughs> he didn't do it! Oh, that's <laughs> All right, see you later, buddy. There we go. Fish. There we go. Right behind you. Get it, Josh. Oh, out of the way. It's off. Already gone. Are you serious? <laughs> what a rip off. You literally got that fish. Look at the screen, Sean. I've seen him on the, the screen. screen and there, oh, there he is. He came back. I think. No, he's coming back now. He's coming back. No, no, there he is. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I think he's there. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hand fed him. <laughs> Textbook, so that's why you don't reel up right away after getting a bite, everybody. And that's the awesome thing about these 360s and these short bus spinners and everything is that you don't lose your bait. You keep your opportunity the whole time that that thing's down there. And he just talked it right on the line. That was so much fun to watch. Coaxed him in. It's like we're lake <laughs> trout fishing again, dude. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, oh, he woke up. Yeah, he's a wild. Is he? Yeah. I don't think there's been those around it. It's hard to reach him off the back. All right, guys, so the first 10 days that it's open down here in this Astoria season, they're not letting us keep wild fish. Typically, we'd be able to keep these wild fish that are down here, but they're trying to protect some of these lower river wild stocks, which is totally fine. It's fun to still reel them in and catch them. So we gotta let this one go. We're just gonna kind of keep searching for some hatchery fish, and I think the bite's gonna pick up here in a second. We're getting some outgoing switch, and uh, it's about to be booty tent time. There he is. This one, Josh? Sure. Still there. Still there, babe. Oh, he came off. He just popped. Damn it, dude. What is the hook? Scooter bait came up the line, but he just popped. <laughs> Made it back to the parking ride. Everyone's unloading all their stuff, getting all their gear together. Jordan slept the whole time on the boat and the whole way home. Mm. It's probably windy as hell right now, guys. Sorry, we're in the parking lot with the GoPro like unloading and packing stuff. What'd you guys think? That's awesome. That's a pretty epic opener, dude. That's a really good first day. We've had some really slow days on the oh, opener, not so. Not what about you, dude? What are you gonna do with this fish? What are you gonna take this fish? You, you gotta, don't tell him, you gotta surprise him. It's gonna be a secret. Ancient Chinese secret. Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> so stay tuned. Jordo's gonna take this salmon that we caught today, beautiful little bounty, and he's gonna make a little delicious recipe for you guys and teach you guys something new. Hopefully you guys will get out and try it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, coming up next. Well, we made it back home into my cluttered dad garage. We got kayaks, we got boats, we got fishing stuff everywhere. It's much, much hotter here than it was down at the beach, but I only got one thing on the mind now, that's dinner. I got well rested today, got a lot of sleep. It was a killer day out on the water, but it's time to flay this bad boy up to show you a new recipe.
All right, back in Kanigi's kitchen yet again, everybody. And this is one of my favorite recipes. It's a good summertime one because it's light. Eat it with some rice, some broccoli, some veggies. But a lot of times it's really good just to switch it up and give yourself a new flavor. It goes against the grain of a lot of the basic salmon recipes that you do. So here we go, let's get started. I'm going real basic on this. So what I'm gonna do is here's the two secrets, guys. Comment below if you wanna see the secret. Just kidding. So I got some hoisin, hoisin, I'm not sure if I'm saying, hoisung. I've heard it said many ways, but it's what it is. And then I got some teriyaki sauce. There's some P.F. Chang's, anything will work. Some Yoshida's, there's a, a brand out there if you guys can find it nationwide, it's called Yoshida's. Also a really, really good teriyaki flavored kind of sauce that you can put on this. But what I'm gonna do, the seasoning first, and then I'm gonna add some of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do, this is a fun one. I don't know if you guys have tried this or ever had this, but this is everything but the bagel seasoning. It's from Trader Joe's, but you can buy everything seasoning in a lot of different places and a lot of different brands make it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of seasoned salt, a little bit of the everything, some garlic, then I'm gonna do a light drizzle of this stuff because this will actually burn in the pan. And then I'm gonna cook this at a lower temperature. I'm gonna go only like 375 this time. Normally I like to cook my fish at about a 400, 4, 450 at times so it gets done a little quicker. But we're gonna start it off with some, some seasoning salt. Go pretty light on it. We don't want this too salty because the stuff we're putting on here is already salty. I'm gonna go quite a bit of garlic because garlic is my favorite and it goes with this recipe very well. Most most Asian recipes are, or any sort of uh, you know authentic Asian dishes already kind of have a lot of salt in it. And then the garlic, of course, is really good because it also has garlic in it too. And then I'm gonna take some of that everything but the bagel. I'm gonna go very light on this because this is pretty strong actually. It doesn't seem like it would be, but this is a pretty strong seasoning. You don't want to overpower it with that everything seasoning. Give it a little pat, a little rub down. Let's go a little bit more over here. Oh, that smells so good already. That everything, those, those flax seeds and those sesames and that little bit of salt with that garlic is just really lighting up the nostrils. So then this is, this is a, the crucial part of this recipe, you guys. You do not want to put too much of this stuff on there. Because what's going to happen is as this stuff settles down into the bottom of that tin foil in the oven, it's going to start to burn. And it's going to create a really charred, kind of gross, burnt, like molasses flavor. Uh, so I'm going to shake this up real good. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go a very, very light coating of this stuff at first, just for flavor, mainly. I don't want this stuff really running into the bottom of the pan too much. So I'm going to do that. Grab my butter knife. Lather that stuff around just a little bit, just to get that slight little glaze. Give it a little bit of moisture, if you will. Ooh, that is looking delish already. Mm. And I like to do this recipe a lot of times with the tail pieces, once again, because the sauce that we're putting on here, it's not that like that mayonnaise or that, that different sort of like butter or, or cream based um, or dairy based seasonings that I put on this, which has a lot of fat and it gives itself a lot of, basically it can render down in the bottom of the pan and not burn. It can just sit there and, and go and go and go. But for this kind of sauce, you wanna make sure that the stuff does not hit the bottom of the pan for too long. We're actually gonna add a big layer of this, this sauce once this gets a little bit closer to being done. But as you can tell already, I wish you could, I wish we had smell of vision right now in this world, but I wish you guys could smell this because that looks perfect and delish. Now, before we throw that thing in the oven, we're gonna add a little of the hoisin. And now this stuff is very sweet, so you wanna go real mild, real, real mild when you put this stuff on. And it's a pretty thick con consistency, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna add a couple of drops to each one. We'll go a little heavier on this when we go to serve this, but this is, again, just for flavor. We're kinda adding that in there so that we can get that stuff glazed on top, almost like adding some brown sugar or anything like that. A lot of sugar in this stuff. Oh my God, it's so sweet and savory and garlicky and good. So good. There we go. Now let's slap her in the oven. So I'm gonna let that go for about 20, 25 minutes at 375 in the oven. Then right when I see it start getting done and I'm gonna get right towards that last five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna add some more of the sauces. So now that we got that done, I'm gonna whip up another dish. Let's get ready to serve. So what I'm gonna pair this with is a little bit of blanched broccoli. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna like partially steam it in the pan, and then I'm gonna add a little, little zang to it, a little wang, if you will, uh, which I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. But I'm gonna cook this a little bit differently. I'm not just gonna steam it, I'm gonna put it in a pan, in this pan here that I have next to me. So I'm gonna put about a half cup of water in there with the broccoli, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of secret seasonings to it. 
that's really gonna set this meal off. Okay, everybody, this thing's about three quarters of the way done. Let's check it out. Ooh, looking good. Now you can see how, again, I was being very specific on not letting that, let, not putting enough sauce on to where it gets down in the pan, because you can see right here even where it's starting to burn a little bit. So, it's just about done. Let's show you how I can tell. You can see that, that fat starting to seep out at the bottom end of that fish, starting to get cooked all the way through. My old trick, stick the fork in, turn it sideways. If it flakes, you're just about there. So we got about another five minutes. So because of that, I'm gonna take my teriyaki sauce again. I'm gonna do a real, real nice little helping of it on there this time. I'm also gonna put some of this on when I put it over the rice. I'm gonna make sure to get a nice even coat. Nice look to it, some good presentation. Same with the Hoi Sun. There we go. Fill this back in for about another five minutes and it's ready to eat. All right, now for the special spicy broccoli. This is another, another really great touch I've always liked to do. I learned this on an overnight trip down a, a river that can't be named, of course, because we don't talk about river names. Um, I didn't have anything to season the broccoli with, and so, but some mayonnaise and some pepper sauce. And what do you know? Magic. So, I'm gonna throw this back on here. We just partially steamed that. I only left that water in there for a few minutes. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoned salt. Not much, once again. Just a tiny bit. A little bit of garlic. And then, for the real magic, I'm gonna go with some light mayonnaise, some olive oil. And a nice little drizzle on top of that. Not too much, you don't wanna overcoat them. And then, the real secret, we got some chili garlic sauce. And this is what really sets it off here. This is gonna give it a great spice. You don't wanna go too heavy, but I'm gonna go pretty hefty. You gotta kinda go to taste, you, can, you can't take it off. You can only put more on, so don't go too heavy on that. I wanna go just enough for flavor, or else it might get a little bit too spicy on you. I'll let that's all in the pan. Give it a little flippy dippy. And we really wanna to try to almost saute this stuff. So we're gonna let that thing get nice and hot, start to sizzle. We almost wanna put a little blackened edge on top of that stuff there. So keep that on high, keep that broccoli going. I'm gonna add just a little bit more mayonnaise. Oh, our fish is ready to go, everybody. Look at that thing of beauty. Got some nice charred edges. Got that fat creeping out of the sides. Took it out just before that stuff started to burn. As you can see how here it starts to turn black and that flavor is not gonna be good. Again, it's like a burnt sugar flavor. Nobody likes that. So we're gonna let our stuff saute here just a little bit more. Give it another little flippy dippy. I'm gonna get my plate ready here. I'm gonna do this on top of a better rice here. Go some nice white rice, some, some wild rice, some long grain wild rice will also be really good with this. Couple nice scoops. Maybe one more for flavor. I'm gonna do a little side of avocado here for, for looks. I'm gonna hit that with a little everything seasoning, maybe on the rice a little bit. Add a little bit of my broccoli. And last but not least, the fish. Oh man, that comes right off the skin. Right on top of my better rice. Oh, everybody. Another little dabble of some teriyaki sauce here. And bon appetit. An absolutely delicious, fun, and different way to cook some fish. If it's not your typical lemons or butter or anything else, you get a nice little Asian twist to it. Nice little healthy better rice, some avocado. And last but not least, the amazing broccoli. Don't forget this one. If you guys don't want the teriyaki stuff, on that salmon, at least try that broccoli recipe. Let's give it a try. That is perfection on a plate. Really, really nice flavor from the Hoi Sun. It's got a nice sweet flavor. It's not too strong, not too salty. It didn't go too heavy on anything. My goodness. 
It's a super easy recipe, only a couple ingredients, and it makes for an awesome, awesome summertime dish. We wanna thank you so much for tuning into today's video, you guys. We hope you like this opening day buoy 10 season. It's gonna be a long one. You guys are gonna see a lot of fun videos. If you wanna see a lot more awesome videos just like this one and great catching cooks, click this link to this next video. Go down here, make sure you hit subscribe, turn your bells on, give this video a thumbs up and comment below and you can be the comment of the day just like this person right here. You guys stay fishy, we'll see you out there. Well, and it can't be a real catch and cook without the little man taste test. What do you think? I think that was a ride on.